The Department of External Affairs handed over two fire trucks from Canada to the St. Lucia Fire Service at a special ceremony on Friday, July 3, 2020, at the Viewfort Fire Station. The trucks were donated by Firefighters Without Borders, FWB, to the St. Lucia Fire Service, SLFS. FWB is a registered charitable organization based in Toronto. Fire Chief Joseph Joseph commended the group for the generous donation to complement the department's fleet of emergency vehicles. The trucks we have received from this generous offer, in this generous offer, are in great condition and at least one has already been put into use in the, re in the recent spit of bushfires during the lengthy dry spell. The donated trucks are generally larger than those currently in use at our domestic stations and serve as excellent backup units. The ladder truck is the first of its kind to be posted in the Southern Division and because of its multiple features is a most welcome addition to our arsenal. I am encouraged by the keen interest that our personnel display in learning about these vehicles and their operation. I have no doubt that they are in safe hands. I am pleased to further commend the large donation of self-contained briefing apparatus or SCBA to our department. The department was also gifted special breathing equipment to help firefighters in their duties. According to the government of St. Lucia, Consul General Cheryl Francis worked closely with the team at Firefighters Without Borders to facilitate the transfer of the vehicles to St. Lucia. The minister responsible for external affairs, Sarah Flood Bobron, who reportedly thanked the organization for their assistance at a March 7th independence event in Toronto, again heaped praise on the charity. I wish to uh, again say how really pleased I am that Firefighters Without Borders have been able to assist the St. Lucia Fire Service not just with the donation of the trucks we have today, but the equipment and certainly the training. I remember on my last visit to Canada, I did have the great pleasure of meeting with representatives for Firefighters Without Borders, and I was able to personally thank them for their very kind support to the Firefighters of St. Lucia. Minister for Home Affairs, Senator Herman Guild Francis, revealed the speed with which the burgeoning relationship with the Canada-based group has benefited local firefighters. The two sides stuck up an accord in February 2020. Firefighters Without Borders is an organization dedicated to helping fire departments around the world get a hand up so that they are prepared to deal with the next emergency, big or small. Through teamwork and training, a shared hope and confidence is realized, and a strong fire organization and community is built. Firefighters Without Borders works to provide tailored training to best equip each individual fire department. I am sure that our local fire officers can relate to that sentiment and position. We appreciate all you have done and endeavor to do to help us get and keep both hands up in carrying out the mandate of the organization. As we have learned, St. Lucia has more plans to, com to continue the strategic partnership with Firefighters Without Borders. According to the government, Metro Logistics Inc. sponsored the shipment of one of the vehicles, while KLC Shipping, an entity owned by St. Lucian Entrepreneur and Goodwill Ambassador, Mr. Ken Chitterley, facilitated the shipping of the other. Firefighters Without Borders has previously donated to the St. Lucia Fire Service personal protective equipment, including bunker gear, helmets, visors, gloves, self-contained breathing apparatus, and personal alert safety systems. Firefighters Without Borders and the St. Lucia Fire Service are currently working on a series of initiatives, including the development of a training facility. Colby DeVoe, HDS News Force.